Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to another uh, video guide. This one is also being recorded live on Twitch. If you want to come watch the Twitch and watch me solve some of these live, that'd be pretty sweet. Otherwise, if you want to help out the channel, consider leaving a like, uh, subscribe, comment, all that stuff helps out. Either way, we're going to be doing this one, which is a little bit confusing. Um, I'm sure this one threw off some people, took me a bit to figure out. Uh, but this is going to be the... Gasas Shrine, well-timed cuts, and it's all the way over here west of the map, the Gasas Shrine. So this one's a little misleading. It's called well-timed cuts, but a lot of the cuts you don't have to actually well-time. It's a weird. Uh, by the way, you can throw these barrels down there to get some arrows. I think it only happens once, so they're not going to give them to me this time. But uh, yes, if you need arrows, they will be in that barrel. First one, we're simply just going to cut that. And then this one, I definitely don't do this the intended way, but welcome to Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, we're simply going to take this block and go like that. And then push it up here. And then simply use a send, which breaks everything. To go to the top of this block here. Like so. And then we're going to hop around. hi ya. And it's just that easy. Next up, we are going to take these two slabs and connect them like that. And then we're going to simply make a walkway over here like that. Easy peasy. Then we are going to take this slab and connect this here. See, this is what I mean, like well-timed cuts. What do you mean well-timed? You can literally just go like that and get the chest. Bada bing, bada boom. You don't really have to time it. Uh, then, we are going to take this cube in the corner to weigh down this uh, thing here. We're going to attach it. And then we are going to push it over against the wall like so. And then that way we're able to shoot this chest down. And that chest will have the small key that opens this. Now, one cool thing about this, I was able to grab this giant ball, move it up, and then shoot it uh, before I even opened this door. And it actually rolled over and ran and fell into the thing. So that's kind of a little flare way to do it, if you wish. But otherwise, you can come over here. Uh, you can use the ultra hand to shove it and get directly kind of like in front of it here. And then all you got to do is... This one you do have to time, so fair enough. Okay, let's see if we can get it here. Boop! Uh, yeah, alright. So all we have to do is make sure we can nab this bad boy. There's probably a way to even do this easier. But, okay, we're just going to simply go like this and let go. And then time our arrow here for now. Uh, yeah. It's harder than you would think. Ew, gross. Harder than you would think, because um, hitting that on a controller is weird. Okay, let's try this again. Hiya! Come on. And go. And I let it loose a little bit too early. Uh, yeah, it was honestly easier over there. I got it. I've got it in a, in a quicker amount of time before I even opened that door. But I digress. Okay, Ultra Hand. Grab you. Push you all the way up here. Let go. And then time it directly right. Boom. There. There we go. And you see, I was able to do that before the door, and then it kind of just rolled in on its own. Uh, you can also check to see if you have all the chests in this particular shrine. There you go. Uh, if it's got a chest icon next to the name of the shrine, which we will see right here. Got the chest icon. Two chests in this one. And that is the Gasas Shrine done. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to watch live, twitch.tv slash Grovana. Otherwise, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, and it helps out the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.